It's your boy Rob here and welcome to my 1,000 subscriber special. Although I have a lot more than 1,000, right? What am I up to now? 2,930. So almost at 3,000 subscribers in one week. That's my cat jingling. She's so excited. What? Why do I have so many subscribers? <laughs> I guess this is my 2,000, 3,000 subscriber special. I don't, I don't know. But either way, let's let's get going. First of all, I want to apologize if my face gets too dark at some points. I am filming. I'm filming really early, early in the morning. It's 8:20 uh, a.m. right now. Had to get up pretty early, so the sun is like right behind me. So if my face goes dark, it's because of that. And I have it in autofocus because I can't, I couldn't, really, I couldn't really focus uh, manually. But uh, you know, here we are. So, anyways. So what I'm going to be doing uh, in this video, I'm going to be reading your guys' question and answering to the best of my abilities. And after the Q&A, I'm going to give you guys a setup tour of my entire little area where I work at. Uh, so hopefully that will be uh, entertainment and that, that will make up for 3,000 subscribers because fuck man, it's insane. So I'm going to be reading the questions just as I see them pop in my phone. Again, I don't know who, who asked the first question, but I, I'm, I'm probably going to uh, read it. So uh, let's get started. So Addicted Gamer asks, congrats on 1,000 subscribers, man. Thank you. My question, have you ever felt so demotivated to the point where you wanted to quit YouTube? I don't think so. I've had many channels before this one and I never really, even if like they didn't grow like this one has or you know, I never really uh, you know, found what I wanted to do. I always had fun. You know, I, I've had my Minecraft channels, my Call of Duty channels and they've always been fun. Like it's always been fun for me to make YouTube videos and I, there hasn't been nothing that has demotivated me to quit YouTube. Like I haven't, haven't really felt uh, demotivated at all. I guess my channel not growing could be demotivating, but I really haven't never felt like, oh, uh, this channel's not growing, I'm just gonna quit YouTube, uh, because I'm still here and I'm still having lots of fun, so. Hey, uh, Revere Legend, what is your least favorite YouTube personality? I don't wanna answer that, simply because I don't wanna like call someone out, like there's, there, there are YouTubers that annoy me and that I don't like, but that doesn't mean I have to call them out and say, hey, shut up, I don't fucking like you. I don't think that should be the attitude that YouTubers have with each other, even if you don't like someone, you know, like be nice to them, like they haven't done anything to you. So I don't want to answer this question because simply, I don't have someone that I hate or that it's annoying. Like, uh, I have people that, you know, I don't I don't watch their videos because I just, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't like their content or I'm not interested in their content. That doesn't mean I don't like them, that just means that I don't like their content. There's no one in the, in the YouTube place that I've seen that is like, oh, fuck you, I don't want to see you. Like, so I don't want to answer this question because I don't think it should be a, a question that should be answered. Like, you shouldn't be annoyed or something like that. Maybe you could, maybe you could, maybe you are, but I'm not. That's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. By the way, that was Austin Anderson who uh, asked that. Javontai Peoples asks, what are your PC specs and how much did it cost you? Uh, my PC specs are going to be in the description. I cannot remember how much it cost. Uh, to build it because I did it online, but all the specs are gonna be in the description. So, my boy Jason plays Pokemon. Asks, how old were you when you started playing video games? Also, congrats on 1,000, bro. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Also, congrats on 5K. You keep it up too, man. But uh, when did I first start playing video games? Uh, my first console that I ever owned was a PS2, and my first game that I ever played was a Rayman 2. I don't know if you guys ever heard heard of that series. You guys probably heard of uh, the Rabbits. Rabbit series. Uh, pretty much, the rabbits came out of uh, Raymond. Uh, was it was a really interesting thing, but uh, that game has been in my childhood memories for so long. It's called Raymond Two Evolution or Ultimate, something like that. It was a really awesome game, and I still play it uh, to this day. Not Raymond Two, the, the series Raymond. There's like a bunch of new games. There's Raymond Origins and Legends, but that was like, I think I was like, maybe like maybe six. Seven years old when I started playing games, maybe even younger than that. But I'm, I'm telling you, man, I am not stopping. I love games. Thomas Fardink asks, "What's your favorite gaming system other than PC?" Absolutely, PlayStation. I was just a Xbox fanboy, and the Xbox One just killed it, man. I hated, it. I hated the this this the uh, the interface. The controls would never work for me. I had like some sort of delay, and I had a horrible experience with Xbox One. So I finally switched to PS4, and oh man, it's so much better. I'm definitely. Uh, going PS4 all the way, uh, absolutely. So I would, I, I'd say PS4. Tom Montez asks, how much did your PC cost and how long did it take you to get all the equipment you need for YouTube? I have a friend that wants to start one. Again, I don't know how much it costs to make my PC. I did, um, again, I put my, uh, my, my specs in the description, but how long it took me to get all this stuff? A few, uh, quite a bit, maybe two, 
two years to get everything set up and from going to consoles to monitors to to my microphone to my uh, you know uh, my mouse my keyboard my headset it took me quite a bit uh, but you don't need the stuff I need is because I've, I've been in the YouTube and I've done it for a while and I think it, it's been worth my time investing money in this hobby I have but if your friend wants to start one, don't go out uh, out of your way and buy like a five thousand dollar computer. By the way, you should not buy a thousand a five thousand dollar computer. Um, don't buy a uh, a Yeti. Don't buy you know uh, Kraken products unless you want to. But you absolutely do not need a super high quality stuff to start your channel. Just the basic, you know, just HD, seven twenty p capture card, um, a microphone. And uh, editing software, you're good to go. That's the best place to start. So you don't need like super high, high tech stuff. You don't need Photoshop. You don't need Tony Vegas. You know, just use what you have around you and use that towards your, you know, towards your, uh, towards your advantage. Dan Sell asks, "What's your favorite thing about Fallout 4?" That's a tough one because there's so many things that I, I can't wait for. But I, I think one of the my my personal favorite one is the uh, the prologue. I really want to play in 2075 and whenever the game starts you know right before the bombs drop i want to play that man that sounds so exciting for me because we've never seen that in the fallout series there hasn't been a single image of the pre-world and i really i'm really excited to see how that turns out and i you know character creation it's always like one of my favorite parts and this character creation seems to be like it's gonna be the best one yet so definitely the uh, prologue before the war uh, before the war um, starts uh, starts up the, the bomb, so that's my favorite thing about Fallout 4 so far. The guy from Fall with Swag asks, in Fallout 4 do you think the power armor will be a special ability or act or activate it for a limited time since in the trailer he has a battery to activate and also has a completely new HDI. Um, I do think it's gonna be some sort of, by the way that was asked by, I, I said that. Um, I think it's gonna be some sort of like tank, like it's a limited amount, like it's super overpowered and you get to wear it like, you know, like a few times in the game. Maybe that's only for the uh, for the T60 power armor. Maybe like toward the T45 or the Enclave. Those are just like regular types of uh, armor. But it, it does seem to be pointing towards uh, you can only use this for uh, a limited amount of time. And that sound that's that sounds fair because you know uh, it would make what uh, power armor is. It's not just another set of armor. It's a whole another. It's a it's a whole thing. Like it shouldn't be just like oh I'll just put it on and you know I'll put the helmet on and I'll just walk around no it should it should make you slow it should make you walk slower and it should make you heavier to take down uh, more difficult to take down and I think they're definitely hitting that point hitting that mark and fall for again from what we've seen in the trailers X games or X games Ma maniac asks how old are you if you answered that question already then where do you come from if you answer that second question already then what's your favorite video game series I'm gonna answer all of them because I haven't answered none of them I am 17 years old um, and I come from a little town called Jalapa in Mexico. So I am Mexican and I was born in Mexico and I was raised in Mexico. I, it was about until I was 14 years old when I decided to, uh, I didn't decide when I moved to the United States. So I've been here almost four years now, but I was born in Mexico. So in a little town called Jalapa, Veracruz, it's right next to the Gulf of Mexico, which is, it was a pretty nice town. Now it's like, you know, just, you know. Second question, uh, or oh, third question. What is your favorite game series? Follow. Fat Stab asks, what are what artists you listen to music wise, any kind? When what is the most thing and what is the most thing the most thing you're looking forward and doing in Fall for? Also, what cartoons and movies did you watch that you like to watch growing up as a kid? My favorite artist, the one I listen to most, I listen to a lot of techno stuff, a lot of like techno y dubstep y kind of music. Uh, electronic most of uh, mostly but if, it, if it's a band I love Fall Boy I would love I every time just every time is a good time for Fall Boy I have like a lot of their albums and I listen to them all the time but techno key techno key techno -y wise I don't have an artist I just listen to whatever is you know on the radio or whatever appeals to me but uh, my favorite artist is definitely Fall Boy also what cartoons and movies you watch as a growing up as a kid I can't remember specific movies but I I do remember some shows I love uh, fairy Godparents, I think that's what's called in English. Of course, my shows were in Spanish, so you know, I don't know what the exact translation is. But I would always watch that. Drake and Josh was always a, a, a major a part of my childhood. I watched a little bit of iCarly, but then I got lost. I watched like the first season and then just, I just lost it. Uh, cartoons, um, I again, uh, I can't really recall. I was never really the SpongeBob guy. I never really got into SpongeBob or Adventure Time or whatever the new, show, the new shows are. But I think that would be, uh, growing up as a kid, those were probably the ones that stand out the most in my memory, so. Brady5953 asks, how did you like Band Rats? Man, I like the game. It's such a simple game, and I like it. Thank you so much for giving to me. Uh, this, uh, his name is Brad, uh, Brad, 
Brady, and he was in my stream and he decided to give me a game called Bad Rest, which is awesome. So thank you for that and I, I'm really enjoying it. Kalani Shuriden asks, um, this, uh, this is probably get asked a lot, but how did you get into the Fallout series? Well, it was a very interesting process. I definitely, I played Fallout 3 when I was like, you know, whenever it came out, 2008. And I didn't like it. I like played it and it was boring and I was like, what is this? What am I doing? This is not the games I like. So I didn't think much of it. And then I came back to it like in 2013, like I saw it and the whole uh, hype for Fallout 4 was building, you know, when the whole Survivor 2099 came out. And I was like, dude, I gotta play this game. So I got it and I started playing it. And fuck, man, that game is awesome. And I just fell in love with the series. And it wasn't even that long ago when I first started playing New Vegas. So I've been playing that a lot as well. And I just got the uh, the, the original Fall 1, 2 and Tactics. And it's it's definitely harder to get into it. But I'm trying to because I just want to, you know, just for the respect side of me that, hey, you made the game, I'll play your game. But definitely Fall 3, uh, definitely that's what got me to the series. And I love it. And I haven't stopped. Fat Stab again asks, do you live in California? If so, it's LA. No, it's not LA. I live in San Diego, California. Lee Styles asks, what is your favorite moment of any Fallout game? I think the moment that I love the most is definitely when you go into Tranquility Lane. That that movie just fucking just threw me off. I was so confused. And then the, the girl was the bad guy and she would talk and then his voice would play. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I think that would probably, uh, in the followed in-game series, was definitely that moment. If it was like outside or surrounding the Fallout series, when Fall 4 got, got announced. Man, that was that was an awesome. When the trailer came out, it was I was the happiest man, dude. It was awesome. Savoni, if you found me shrunk to the size, shrunk to the size of a bug, what would you do with me? Uh, like you were already shrunk down. I don't know. I would probably take you to like a medical place or like a scientific place and be like, hey, this is a this is my guy. Can you like fix him up? And I'll just like show off with you, and you would be there. And, like, hey, can you like you know fix him? And I would throw you at them and hope they would catch you. And if they didn't catch you, then I'm sorry, man. But yeah. Julian Slicer asks, which do you which which do you like more? Fall which one do you like more? Fall three or New Vegas, and why? I love both. They're great games, but definitely Fall three. Uh, it's my favorite. It's my number one uh, by far. I don't know. I just liked it more. The atmosphere was greater. I I like the characters more. People are like, it's they're so bland. I like them. The game is fine. Uh, definitely, I like the setting the most. Uh, the story. In my opinion, it's a bit cliche, but it was interesting. Uh, I love, I love Fallout New Vegas story though. I like how you play part in this huge faction war, but definitely Fallout 3, uh, my number one. Shepard and 7 me 3 asks, do you stream on Twitch? And thank you, uh, uh, my girlfriend answered that question for for him. But uh, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, when I tend to stream just random games. Again, she said the last game I streamed was God of War 3 Remastered. I, w I do sometimes stream Fallout just for the fuck of it, but uh, I don't have a schedule. I'm not a Twitch streamer regularly. But if a new game comes out that I want to play, I would probably, uh, probably play it on Twitch. So uh, again, all those, all those links are in my channel. So if you want to go follow me on Twitch and see what I do, go for it. Derpy Sank asks, Q, anal me and give me Fallout 69, please. And almost I forgot, congrats on 1K. Thanks, man, and uh, I'll do that to you. I'll do that to you, so don't worry about it. And uh, White Hot King asks, congrats on 1,000 subscribers, man. Thank you so much, thank you. And uh, um, do you prefer F3 or FNB? F3, as I've answered before. And Evan D asks, can you show us your shoe collection? Yeah, sure, why not? I guess I'm gonna show you my shoe collection, Evan. Um, those are my grandmas, by the way, don't take anything. These are all the shoes I have. Uh, I have my sports shoes when I go to the gym. Those are like more casual in the fancy side. They have like an interesting pattern on them. They're pretty nice. Uh, these are my just my casual shoes. They're Mickey Vans. Pretty awesome if you ask me. And then I have my fancy nice shoes. They're not that fancy, but I do tend to wear them. Uh, mo I, I, tend, I tend to dress not like, you know, like a suit, but I definitely like most of my outfits could go with that. But I tend to wear those the most just because they're comfy and easy to get in. So that's my shoe collection. That's my cat star. You should not do that. Thanks. That's gonna be it for my for the Q&A part. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. It's been an amazing journey. But uh, now we're gonna go to the Q&A. So and then the, the Q&A, the setup video. And then afterwards, I'll just say goodbye. So cut to that. All right, guys. So I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, setup tour. Uh, I guess setup tour. This is the room where I pretty much work on. Now I do only have that corner over there. This all layer was my grandmother's. Like she used to paint in that in that corner, and I was like cat stuff. But now she paints down there in that little uh, cat, uh, little place over there. Pretty cool. Over here is my brother's piano. Uh, he's out uh, for vacation, but he usually plays here. I don't know, like an hour a day. It's pretty cool. 
my couch full of boxes. I uh, apologize for that. I need to clean up my mess. Over here, it's my desk. This is where I do all my work and stuff. This is my chair. We call it the king's chair because it's, you know, comfy and stuff. Down there is my computer. Uh, again, all the specs and uh, it's gonna be in the description, so do not worry about that. It is an iPad Power Custom. Uh, I made it myself, and it has a little quote that says "Move Forward," which is a reference or an homage to uh, Monty Ohm. Uh, if you don't know who that is, look him up. Up here, it's where I do pretty much everything. This is where I live, basically. Uh, on the right side is all my computer is hooked up to. Uh, I can't remember what type of monitor it is, but it's a Samsung, and I'm pretty sure it's twenty. Three inches? I'm not, that might be wrong again. I don't know. I bought this like maybe up to maybe four years ago, so it's pretty old my uh, monitor, but it's, you know, does the job well. Got my uh, my, my camcorder right here. It's a Logitech 1080p one. It's not the best one. Uh, it's the one that's like in the middle. Uh, it's still pretty good. Again, all the stuff it's gonna be in the description, so do not worry about that. Uh, I'm a Razer fan myself. I have a Deathstalker, a Razer Naga, and Krakens. So uh, that's where pretty much where I spend all my equipment. Razer, Razer stuff. I uh, have a set of speakers, again, uh, they're Logitech, and um, it will be everything in the description, so do not worry about that. And if I do miss something, please let me know. Uh, I guess I have a little uh, USB uh, motherboard, I don't know if that's what they're called. Uh, you know, I have a lot of out, uh, inputs for the computer. My games, this is like where I keep all my uh, games and stuff, so I don't have that many. It's cool though. I have a bottle <laughs> for water, that's a bottle I used to drink water every day. <laughs> I have a Snapple, it's like I need to finish that at some point. Over here is my uh, gaming, uh, where I do my gaming stuff. Got my PS4, 360, and Wii. Uh, Wii, I haven't used the Wii in a while. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that that's where I do my uh, my Legend of Zelda Let's Play that I never finished, that I probably should at some point. But either way, PS4, a 24-inch Dell uh, HD monitor. And then up here we have my microphone stand with my Blue Yeti and a pop filter. This is uh, pretty much... What makes you what makes you guys hear me every time? Uh, except this time because I got a, mic a, ca a camera on the microphone. But uh, pretty much, yeah, that's like like one of the best microphones, uh, and I think uh, it's pretty good. Pens, uh, you know, for every t every type of uh, pen you need. Jon Snow, uh, of course. Who doesn't need Jon Snow? Um, notes for school or YouTube stuff or you know a bunch of other stuff. That's pretty much where my notes take place. Where like I have a bunch of ideas for you guys to do. Down there we have uh, some, a lot of, we have a lot of shit here, okay? Like, this is not organized in any order. I mean, gaming stuff up there, then we have more gaming stuff down there, and then we have a bunch of just random crap down there, so that's pretty much how that's organized. Trash can, don't look at it. Games that I don't, I mean, I just I bought this because I had a bunch of boxes, or case, or not case, yeah, I guess cases, with, you know, boxes of games, and I had somewhere to put them. Uh, Fallout 3, Collector's Edition, uh, courtesy of my girlfriend. Shout out to her, she's beautiful and pretty and amazing. Uh, cords, if you know, you know, I have a lot of cords, that's not, that's probably not safe. Uh, that doesn't seem safe at all, but that is pretty much it. I have a, uh, I, I don't know, I should have, I have a PS4 controller charger right there and Final Fantasy X and X2 remastered, so. But that's pretty much it, that's everything in my desk that I used to work with. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will be glad, and I will gladly answer. And then I have some pictures over there of Zelda, and then some notes my girlfriend left, leaves me every time she comes over. But yeah, that's it though. Bye. Well, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed a little uh, setup video. Uh, I don't think I missed anything, and if I did, uh, or if you guys saw something you have a question on, ask me in the comments section below. I'll be glad to answer. And uh, final, uh, final message. Thank you. Thank you, because if it wasn't for all of you, almost 3,000 people, I would not be sitting here saying thank you for almost 3,000 subscribers. It's been an awesome journey. It's been a crazy one week. In one week, I've gained like 1,500 subscribers. Uh, 50, yeah, 1,500. It's, it's insane. Uh, it's definitely crazy. And it wasn't, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to do it because uh, it wasn't for you guys. So, thank you so much. Uh, I have a lot of things planned for you guys. Hopefully, this was a good, uh, if this was a good uh, thank you video, because uh, it's what it is. It's a thank you video because you guys deserve the best. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like below and subscribe for more YouTube videos. More blogs, I guess. Fall content. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. My name is Robert, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy vault dwelling.